Hi there, and thanks for taking the time for clicking through and getting that much closer to younger skin. I'm going to share with you the science and I'm going to make it really simple to understand because aging all comes down to one thing within your cells, your telomeres, the protective caps at the tips of your DNA. The science is so respected, it's been proven in several thousand studies and in 2009 the Nobel Prize was awarded for the discovery of telomeres. And bringing it back to the skin, a recent study proves that the longer your telomeres, the lower likelihood of facial aging you'll have. Let me introduce you to Dr. Bill Andrews, an award-winning telomere biologist sought after globally as an expert in the field of anti-aging. Dr. Andrews is the president of Sierra Sciences in Reno, Nevada, a research facility wholly dedicated to telomere research and how to lengthen them, a discovery he made while working for Geron Corporation in the 1990s. As an expert of aging, Dr. Andrews is in high demand and has appeared on many popular television shows, including the Today Show in America with Barbara Walters. When cells divide, telomeres shorten. And bad things happen when telomeres get short. When a cell divides, the genetic material inside that cell needs to be copied. This is called DNA replication. During this process, enzymes that replicate a strand of DNA are unable to continue replicating all the way to the end, which causes the loss of some DNA. As an analogy, think of DNA as a long row of bricks and of DNA replication as a brick layer walking backwards on top of a brick wall, laying a new layer on top of that row. When the end of the wall is reached, the brick layer finds himself standing on top of the bricks he's supposed to replicate. But since he can't put down a brick where his feet are, he steps back and falls off the wall, leaving the very end of the wall bare. As a result, the new copy of the wall is shorter. Just like this brick wall was copied imperfectly, our DNA is unable to copy itself perfectly. When a strand is replicated, the new strand is shorter than the old strand. So as Bill has just explained to you, every time a cell divides, your telomeres shorten. And when those telomeres get down to 5,000 base pairs, which is pretty short, that's when the cell can't divide anymore and it dies. Remember that hay flick limit I was telling you about? That's what it is. It's about 50 cell divisions that you get from beginning to death of that cell and that's that hay flick limit. So now you're starting to understand it. So come back to high school science class with me. You'll remember that cells are in a constant state of flux. So you've got your cell and it makes everything in it and then it halves. Now, Imagine, as that cell was dividing in two, if you were to lose a little piece of your DNA during that division. That's why the telomere exists. So go with the telomere, this protective tail on the end of our DNA. But that hay flick limit is what means that it can't go on dividing forever. Now, let's talk a little bit about the skin because you've got a really young cell and then a cell that dies. But we all know in between there is old age. So when you have an old cell, it doesn't function properly. Old cells do not produce collagen, they don't produce elastin, they go haywire with their pigmentation and start vomiting it to the surface of the skin or stop making it all together, or both, which is why you can get that real patchy look on your face, dark and then light and then dark and then light. So it's not just the actual death that we're worried about, but it's critically short telomeres too, because those are the ones responsible for skin that looks old. Now, I know that you can talk about DNA replication and the hay flick limit and, and all of these scientific terms, but my simple takeaway for you is this. I want you to remember that cell division equals aging. And that is my new mantra for you. So what speeds up cell division? Well, anything that requires repair work will speed up cell division. So if you remove the top layers of your skin, it's gonna be forced to repair itself. And that requires cell division to produce more cells. You guessed it, you are speeding up the aging process. Microdermabrasion. If you wanna sandblast off the top layers of your skin and leave it inflamed and damaged, you guessed it, your skin is gonna come and repair that damage through cell division. So you see, it has everything to do with an enzyme called telomerase, and studies have categorically proven that the enzyme telomerase re-lengthens telomeres. 
But where can we get telomerase? Well, more on that in a moment, because it's not something that you can just take in a pill or rub on your skin. But first, I want you to understand the two types of ageing that can happen. We've got normal baseline ageing, which is the ageing that happens that we would normally be powerless to prevent. More on that soon. And the next we have accelerated skin ageing, or ASA as I like to call it. We've already spent a little bit of time talking about some of the skin industry inflicted ways that ASA can happen. But now I want you to understand more about that. Let's talk about some of the things that you're doing at home, like exfoliation, harsh cleansers, overusing retinol. These things work by increasing cell division, which of course equals accelerated aging. But what you're doing is when you remove the top layer of your skin, it tries to repair itself so that it can protect you. That's its job. And that happens through cell production. So the more you strip the surface of your face off, the more cell division and cell production occurs. You are accelerating the aging process. Now, if you're doing that at home on a really small level, what about the things that the professionals are doing, like ablative, invasive laser, and microneedling, and chemical peels? So a chemical peel is gonna remove several layers of the surface of your skin. It, it used to be exfoliation. What we're doing now is just skin violence that really isn't necessary, and it is going to accelerate the aging process. Ablative laser literally works by blowing up your skin cells with the knowledge that your skin has to repair itself and it will look juicier and plumper for a little while. What they're forgetting to tell you is that every time you bring those new cells to the surface, those cells are just a little bit older than the ones that came before them. Then of course there are the environmental causes like UV, radiation, toxic environments, all these things put pressure on your skin cells to repair and renew themselves. And then the internal choices that you make, such as smoking, obesity, really poor diet and lifestyle, they can lead to extra free radicals, which can lead to accelerated telomere shortening, again, making yourself age faster. Rather obviously, the first thing you need to do is to stop causing ASA. It's free. Heck, it'll probably even save you money. And look, by all means, get out there and exercise in the sun, but wear a sunblock. Stop smoking, that'll save you money. And I mean stop, not just cutting back or switching to vaping, it's just as bad. If you don't have enough omegas and vitamin D in your diet, add those supplements, they're pretty cheap. And many longitudinal studies show that the higher your baseline levels in omegas and vitamin D, the longer your telomeres will be. Antioxidants are also amazing at helping to keep telomeres longer, to reduce the speeding up of that shortening. So you can get those from fresh fruit and veggies. Now for a lot of us, losing a little bit of weight would not be too bad. If I had to rate the causes of ASA, obesity is almost up there with smoking. Another big one, and we used to think it was mumbo jumbo, but it's stress reduction. High levels of stress can really accelerate the aging process. And if you feel you can, you could cut back a little bit on alcohol as well. All these things are gonna serve you well for your future. Now back to normal or baseline aging. The good news is it can be slowed and even reversed. The bad news is it's not free, like my earlier advice, but hey, neither was the stuff that you were paying for that was aging you faster. I'm talking about activating the enzyme telomerase from within your skin. Here to explain it to you is my friend and colleague, Dr. Bill Andrews, who discovered the world's strongest telomerase activator, TAM818. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to look for chemicals and natural products and practically anything that will get inside of human cells in a petri dish and turn on the gene for telomerase. We have tested, well we first developed a very high throughput screening assay that we could test cells with so we can test like 4,000 different chemicals a day uh, looking for something that would, when added to human cells in a petri dish and then let the cells incubate for 24 hours then the next day break open the cells and ask did those cells produce telomerase. We have an assay that allows us to do this 4,000 times a day, uh, all robotic and stuff. And so we started testing all kinds of chemicals at random. 
We, we tested over 300,000 different chemicals, actually found 900 of them uh, would actually induce the production of telomerase at low levels. And we were able to then look at the structures of all these chemicals, or at least our medicinal chemists looked at the structures of all these chemicals. In a very short period of time, we ended up finding stuff that, uh, at least one chemical that was 16%. We found a lot that were like 10%, 12%, well, one was 16% of what we need, and we called that TAM-818, telomerase activating molecule 818. And that's our strongest, in fact, it's the strongest chemical on the planet right now for inducing telomeres. When Dr. Bill Andrews first contacted me about looking into TAM-818, I was blown away with his results. But his results were done in a lab, in a petri dish, on fibroblast skin cells. I needed to know what would happen when we used it on real people. So we contracted Abbott Laboratories in Italy, the best research facility that we could find, and we tested the TAM-818 in the One Truth 818 serum on 100 volunteers over a 30-day period. Now you're right, that is really excessive testing and well above what we needed to do. But when you're going up against bigger skincare companies all telling a different story to you, we needed irrefutable proof that what we were saying was true. Now here's the difference. They don't have a molecule that can actually make your cells biologically younger. So what they look for are ingredients that will give you a visual appearance of temporarily younger looking skin and they base their marketing on that. We started with a proven, legitimate, anti-aging molecule and we built our product around that. The Abbott Laboratories results measured what we had already seen and gave us even more scientific evidence to prove our message. Not only was TAM-818 the world's strongest telomerase activator in a petri dish, but on people it showed astounding visual age reversal too. It was really in this eight-week New Zealand trial that you are seeing the before and afters from now that we discovered the phenomenal results that TAM-818 had on pigmentation and sensitivity. And if you think about it, those melanocytes that are not working properly have got critically short telomeres. And the fibroblasts that are producing collagen and elastin, well, they're stopping doing that because they've got critically short telomeres. Now, looking at these results, look at Shelley. To this day, she still uses TAM-818. And wouldn't you if you had got these results after just eight weeks of using the product? But looking at these results, you would expect that there was some exfoliation process involved, or retinol, or some filling ingredients. There are none of those in our formulation. And our trial volunteers were told to go cold turkey on all other active treatments and ingredients. So the results you see here are purely elicited from using TAM-818, the world's strongest telomerase activating molecule. So back to the results that we got from Abbott Laboratories. What they were able to measure, and put those numbers on for us, were this. 90% of people noticed an improvement in skin roughness and wrinkle depth within two weeks. 92 noticed improvement in skin hydration. And 100% had no adverse reactions to the serum. So that's what those 100 volunteers told us about their user experience. The doctors then told us that the skin smoothness improved by 12.5% on the forehead and almost 10% in the eye area. And forehead wrinkles decreased by over 14% and crow's feet decreased by over 11%. Skin firmness, due to the increase of elastin, improved by an average of just over 20%. Now remember, these are in only 30 days. Medically significant is putting it mildly. If you're still watching, I'm guessing that you want to do more than just take my free advice on how to stop ASA. If you're still with me, I bet that you are serious about tackling baseline aging. I'm going to offer you One Truth 818 Telomerase Activating Serum at a fantastic introductory price. All the deals are outlined here. I do hope that you take advantage of it.